हरि ओम ओ विष्णवे नम ओं श्री महादेवाय नम ओं श्री महादुर्गाय नम ओं श्री राम रामाय नम ओं श्री सद्गुरव नम ओं सहनावत सहनोभुन सह वीरक तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुमाशावी ओ शातिशाशाति ओ गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेशर गुरुरव पर तस्म श्रीगुरव नम समस्तजनकल्याण निरत करुणाम नमा चिन्म देव सद्गुर ब्रह्म विद्वर भवानी शंकर वंदे श्रद्धा विश्वास याभ्यां विना न पश्यी सिद्धास्वातस्तमीश्वर वसुदेवसुत देव कंसचाणूरमर्दनम देवी परमानंद कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुर राय राम भद्राय रामचंद्राय वेदसे रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीताया पत नम बुद्धिबल यशोधर निर्भयमता अजाड्यम वाक्पटुंच हनुमत्स्मरणा भवे शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणल करुणाल नमा भगवत्दशंक लोकशंक सदाशिवसरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा शंकर परमानंद ब्रह्मनिष्ठ यतीश्वर भाष्यभ्रांतिहर वंदे शुद्ध ज्ञानकबोधक ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमतहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम ओं नम शिवाय 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 ओम 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 नम शिवाय नम पार्वती पत हर हर महादेव हरि ओम हरि ओम विल बिगिन विद द शांति मंत्र ओम भद्रं कर्णे भीशृणयाम देवा भद्रम पश्ये मक्षजत्रा स्थिरंग सस्तनो 
विषेम देवहित यदायु स्वस्ति न इंद्रो वृद्धश्रवा स्वस्ति न पूषा विश्ववेदा स्वस्ति नाक्षो अरिष्टनेमी स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पतिर्दा ओ शाति 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 हरिओ वि शल चांड फ्रॉम द थर्ड मंत्र ऑफ द सेकेंड सेक्शन थर्ड चैप्टर नायमात्मा प्रवचन न लभ्य न मे दया न बहुना श्रुते न यमे वैश्यवृणते ते न लभ्य तस्श आत्मा विवृणते तनूं स्वाम नायमात्मा बलहन न लभ्य न च प्रमादापसो वाप्यलिंगात यस्तु विद्वान् तस्श आत्मा विशते ब्रह्मधाम संप्राप्यनम ऋषयो ज्ञान तृप्ता कृतात्मा वीतरागा प्रशाता ते सर्वगम सर्वत प्राप्य धीरा युक्तात्मावाशंते वेदात विज्ञान सुनिश्चिता संन्यास योगात शुद्ध सत्वा ते ब्रह्मलोकेशु परांतकाले परामृता परमुच्चंति सर्वे गता कला पंचदश प्रतिष्ठा देवाश्च सर्वे प्रतिदेवतासु कर्माणि विज्ञानमयश्चात्मा परे व्यये सर्व एकी भवन्ति यथा नद्य सन्द्यम समुद्रे अस्त गति नाम रूपे विहाय तथा विद्वान्म विमु परात्परम पुषमुपैति दिव्य सो दिस इज द कंक्लूडिंग सेक्शन ऑफ दिस उपनिषद the teacher tells the disciple that this atma can be attained only by those who desire that atma and atma alone and put forth proper effort one who has gained this self realization becomes free of all the bondage and becomes one with that brahma there remains no difference between the enlightened master and brahma so gata kala panchadash pratishtha devascha sarve prati devatasu all the kalas of this purusha it uh, merges back into that purusha all the all the senses and all the karmas and uh, vidnyana maya atma everything merges into that supreme uh, uh, brahma when one gains that enlightenment so just as uh, the various rivers they merge with the ocean so yatha nadya sandyamane samudre astam gachanti nama rupe vihaya so there are this various uh, rivers are there they have their own uh, personality own gati and they bless everyone on the on their way but their destination is that supreme uh, that ocean vast ocean actually all this rivers have uh, come from that ocean only ocean is the very source of all the rivers and all the water bodies on earth so all this rivers have 
originated really speaking from the ocean and they constantly strive to again go back to the ocean, merge back into the ocean. In the same way, all of us, we have, uh, we have arisen from that Supreme Brahma. This entire world is expression of that Brahma and all the jivas are also expression of Brahma. In, the, in one of the mantra in this Upanishad itself, we have seen that just as a, from a blazing fire, many sparks, they arise and again merge back into that fire. Similarly, from that Brahma, many infinite jivas arise and they merge back into that Brahma. So, yatha nadyaha sandhyamane samudre astam gacchanti nama rupe vihaya. The rivers, they have their own different names and different forms. But when they meet the ocean, they lose their uh, names, individual names, and they lose their individual forms also. Thereafter, they remain as that ocean itself. In the same way, Tatha Vidwan, one who has realized the self through proper means. First, we have to gain the, the knowledge with the help of our purified buddhi. And thereafter, through Nididhyasan, we have to realize our own self as Brahma. The innermost self is Brahma. So, when we are identified with this body, Stula Sharir, Sukshma Sharir, we have our own name, we have our form. Hmm? Human beings, man, woman, of different uh, jati, different varna, different age, having different personalities. But once we come to realize that Supreme Self, then all these names, forms, etc. just merge. They no longer remain there. Vidwan nama rupad vimuktaha. As far as that Vidwan is concerned, he transcends all names, all forms, become one with that Supreme Brahma. For him, everything is Brahma alone. So, Vidwan Nama Rupad Vimuktaha Parat Param Purusha Mupaiti. He attains that Parat Para Purusha, that Supreme Purusha. Purusha means one who is all pervading, who exists everywhere. So, that Parat Para Purusha is attained, which is Divyam, which is divine. So an enlightened person attains that Supreme Brahma. See, as long as the prarabdha of the physical body is there, the enlightened master continues to live in this world. Means as far as others are concerned, we see an enlightened master. Though he has become one with that Brahma, but we continue to see his body and we can interact with that enlightened master. But once the prarabdha of this body gets uh, exhausted, then the body drops off and the sukshma sharir also merges into the total uh, uh, this uh, 
in that Brahma and uh, that enlightened master is not born again. The enlightened master is not born again. Is there a problem in uh, in listening to my pravachan? Is it okay? The sound and video, is it fine? So Shankara Chariji in his commentary, he, he writes that when an ignorant person tries to uh, attain something higher, When an ignorant person tries to attain something higher, then uh, he faces lot of uh, obstacles also. And many of these obstacles come from the devatas. Shankaracharji writes in his commentary, Ki nanu shreyasya aneke vignaha prasiddhaha Ataklesanam anyatam tamina anenava deva dinacha vignito Brahma vidapi anyam gatim ruto gachati na brahmaiva. That uh, the vignas are created, obstacles are created by the devatas. So when a person dies, uh, they may create some vigna and uh, uh, one doesn't get uh, the gati properly. So, even an enlightened person, the, when the body gets dropped, maybe the devtas might create some vigna, some obstacles. So, Shankara Chariji says, no, they cannot create any vigna. He says, na. Vidyaya eva sarva pratibandasya apani, apani tatvat. That with vidya, with self knowledge itself, all obstacles get eliminated. There are no obstacles then. Even the devtas cannot create any vigna. Because avidya pratibandha matrohi moksho na anya pratibandha. For moksha, there is only one obstacle, and that is avidya, not uh, realizing our own self, not recognizing our own self. That is the only obstacle which creates this samsar for us. We are bound in this samsar, but once we gain that self-knowledge, then there will remain no other obstacle. Hmm? Nityatvad Atma Bhutatvacha because Atma is Nitya. It is our own self. So attainment of our self is something totally different from attainment of anything else in this world. To attain something else we have to put forth effort. But to attain our self we have to just know because it, it is always attained. It is always there. So, the there cannot be any obstacles from these devatas. And that is what now, in this uh, next verse, next mantra, the teacher says, let us chant. <coughs> <coughs> 
मंत्र नंबर नाइन स यो हवय तत्परम ब्रह्म वेद ब्रह्मते न अस्य ब्रह्म वित् कुले तरति शोक तरति पापन गुहाग्रंथिभ्यो विमुक्त मृत भवती स यो हवय तत्परम ब्रह्म वेद ब्रह्मते ना ब्रह्म वित्कुले भवती तरति शोक तरति पापन गुहाग्रंथिभ्यो विमुक्त मृत भवती फाइनली द टीचर सेज कि स यो हवय तत्परम ब्रह्म वेद डेट ही हु दीकर ही हु नोज दैट परम ब्रह्म दैट सुप्रीम ब्रह्म ब्रह्म भवती ही बिकम्स ब्रह्म ओनली द नोवर ऑफ ब्रह्म बिकम्स ब्रह्म सी वेन वी नो समथिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड विद द हेल्प ऑफ अवर बुद्धि then i the knower remains different from what is known i am the knower and uh, the object in front of me is known okay let me see if i can do something if it Hari Om. I hope it is uh, better now. So sa yo havai tat paramam Brahma Veda Brahma eva bhavati. When we know something, some object in this world, I the knower remains different from what I know. so there is always a knower and known duality is there so i become the knower with the help of my buddhi with the help of my senses i know some object so let us say i know this pen so i am different this pen is different so whatever i know always remains different from me but this uh, self is such that it is it cannot be different from me it cannot be an object of my knowledge so knowing the self is being the self itself knowing the self is being the self though in the beginning with the help of our buddhi we try to understand this self we come to comprehend this self with the help of the scriptures with the blessings of our teacher so we gain an intellectual appreciation of the self but thereafter we have to meditate and gain abidance in our own self knowing the self is being the self and the self is brahma so knowing that brahma is being that brahma so that is what the shastra says here ki ya sa yo havai tat paramam brahma veda one who knows that supreme brahma 
Brahmaiva Bhavati, that person becomes Brahma only. So I hope the video is better now and the and the audio also. You can let me know if it is it is better. Further the teacher says ki na asya abrahmavit kule bhavati that an enlightened person not only himself becomes enlightened but no member of his family remains ignorant in his kula kula means his his family in his family no one remains ignorant of that brahma na asya brahma vit kule bhavati na asya abrahma vit kule bhavati so everyone of his family members also come to know this brahma Kula also means uh, even a teacher, a guru has got his own kula, all his disciples and all. When we go to a guru and stay with the guru, that is also called a guru kula. So when we are connected to our guru, when we are spiritually connected to our guru, we become the member of guru's family as though when we we have that faith and we surrender to our guru and our guru also accepts us then we become the family of that guru and by the blessings of our guru we will also definitely gain that self knowledge no one will remain ignorant who are part of guru's family so na asya abrahma vit kule bhavati tarati shokam tarati pap manam an enlightened person crosses over all sorrows all suffering all our sufferings are actually caused because of our identification with this body because of our notion that i am a doer knower enjoyer so all sufferings are related to the our upadis only but when we transcend this upadis come to recognize our own supreme self we become free of all sorrows tarati shokam tarati pap manam the person becomes free of all pap also all sins all sins are also there as long as we have the sense of doership when we do something then what we do can be good can be bad can be dharma can be adharma so there is pap and punya but one who has become free of this sense of doership itself become free of all pap so tarati shokam tarati pap manam even if that person has committed lot of sins in the past that person will become free of all sins otherwise we get the results of our sin we we experience uh, sorrow and suffering in in the lower lokas like in hell but one who gains self knowledge become free of all sins so tarati shokam tarati pap manam guha granthi bhyo vimuktah becomes free of the guha granthi the knot of the heart which we had seen before also ignorance actually itself is the knot of our heart which uh, causes different types of desires and those desires prompts us into various types of actions and those actions gives rise to different types of uh, results 
and we remain bound in this samsara. So all this is caused by that Hridaya Granthi, that ignorance which is, which is there in our Antakkarana only. In our buddhi, that knowledge that I am Brahma is absent. That itself is called avidya. Avidya is abhava roop, it is an absence. I am Brahma, this knowledge is absent in buddhi. And as long as this is absent, we will continue to experience sorrow, pain, suffering in this samsara. And when we gain this knowledge that I am Brahma, then that ignorance gets eliminated and we become free of this samsara. So, Guha Granthim Vimuktaha Amruto Bhavati gains immortality. That Brahma is immortal, knower of Brahma also becomes immortal. Actually, we are immortal now also, but because of ignorance, we consider ourselves as being born and will die. But once we come to realize our own self, we become, we know that we are immortal. We'll just uh, read Shankaracharya's commentary on this mantra. Sa yak kaschid ha vai loke tat paramam brahma veda. In this world, whoever knows that param brahma, sakshat aham eva asmi iti. And how does he know that brahma? That it is, I am that brahma. Knows that brahma subjectively as my own self. Aham eva smiti, that I am this Brahma. Sa nanyam gatim gachati, such a person doesn't go to any other gati. Then such an enlightened person is not born again, doesn't go to any other lokas, doesn't uh, go into any other yonis, becomes free of all his limitations. So, nanyam gatim gachati. And devaihi api tasya brahma praptim prati vigno na shakyate kartum. And even the devtas cannot create any vigna, any obstacle on the path of this enlightened person. Why? Atma hesham sabhavati. Because this enlightened person becomes the self of those devtas also. An enlightened person gains that sarvatma bhav. He knows that I am the self of all. So he is the self of those devtas also. So devtas don't create any vigna on the path of an enlightened person. Tasmat brahma vidvat, tasmat brahma vid, brahma vidvan, brahmaeva bhavati. So the knower of brahma becomes Brahma. Knower of Brahma becomes Brahma. See, just as when we are uh, asleep, we are dreaming, so we, we are in, uh, sleeping in a particular place and we dream that we are somewhere else only. So I am lying on my bed and in my dream, I am uh, swimming in the, in the swimming pool. So when I just wake up, then what happens? The one who was swimming himself finds himself lying on the bed. I who was swimming, uh, swimming myself find that I am not swimming, I am here on my bed. In the same way, I who, who am experiencing this sorrow, this suffering in this world, I come to understand that I myself am Brahma. So become free of all 
द सफरिंग सो ब्रह्मविद ब्रह्मैव भवति किंच न अस्य विदुषः अब्रह्मविद कुले भवति मोरोवर नो मेंबर ऑफ दिस एनलाइटन पर्सन्स फैमिली रिमेंस इग्नोरेंट दे आल्सो गेन दैट सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन सी वी आर नॉट ओनली connected to our uh, family physically in the sense we have that uh, link with them but we are also connected to them emotionally intellectually even when we make friendship with someone that uh, when the friendship become very very close then we start feeling that person as part of our family only even our uh, pets in our family are felt as though they are part of our family so we get connected to people emotionally intellectually but our connection with our guru is uh, at a very deeper level we get connected to our guru spiritually just as we get connected to bhagwan when we do regular uh, prayer and puja and dhyana we feel connected to ishwara in the same way when we have that total dedication devotion total sharanagati to our guru hmm then we get connected to our guru we 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 our mind our intellect our antakarana gets connected and just by this connection itself our antakarana start becoming more and more pure and we start understanding the teachings of our our of our teacher by his mere presence adi shankaracharya ji also had many disciples and one of his disciple was totaka acharya who was uh, not so bright not so brilliant but he was totally dedicated to his teacher absolutely uh that uh, attitude of sharanagati was there in his antakarana towards his teacher that just through his seva and through his bhakti for his teacher he gained that supreme knowledge he didn't even have to listen for long he just by mere presence of his teacher remaining in the presence of his teacher he gained that knowledge so vidushah abrahmavit kule na kule bhavati na asya vidushah abrahmavit kule bhavati so nobody in his kula remains abrahmavit devoid of that self knowledge kincha tarati shokam अनेक अनेक इष्ट वैकल्प्य निमित्तम मानसम संतापम जीवन एव अतिक्रांतो भवति एनलाइटन पर्सन बिकम्स फ्री ऑफ ऑल सॉरोज लॉट ऑफ सॉरोज वी एक्सपीरियंस इन दिस वर्ल्ड बिकॉज ऑफ लूजिंग समथिंग देर इज ग्रीफ ग्रीफ ऑफ ऑफ लूजिंग when we are attached to our family when we are attached to our wealth position name fame but everything changes everything goes away in bhaja govindam also bhagwan says that uh, ma kuru dhana jana yavvan garvam harati nimeshat kalas sarvam everything just disappears everything goes away and when they go away we feel extreme sorrow pain grief but an enlightened person doesn't feel this grief 
because there is nothing which goes away for him because he has become everything so there is no question of losing anything or or uh, missing anything an enlightened person is that brahma only and everything is brahma so there is no shok in the antakaran of a of a brahma vit there is no sorrow sorrow cannot touch such an enlightened person so tarati shokam aneka ishta vaikalpya nimittam manasam santapam jivan eva atikranto bhavati while living itself become free of all the shoka all sorrows tarati paap manam dharma dharmakhyam also transcends all paap of dharma as well as adharma all paap is transcended guha granthibyo hridaya avidya granthibyo vimuktah san and becoming free of all the knots of the antakarana of the heart amruto bhavati he becomes that immortal iti uktam eva vidyate hriday granthi ityadi it is it was said in the mantra before also vidyate hriday granthi chindyanti sarva samshayah kshiyanti chiyasya karmani tasmin drishte paravare so in this way the teaching actually is concluded with this mantra the beautiful teaching we started uh by that uh, shonaka approaching his teacher and asking that question ki kasmin nu bhagavo vidnyate sarvam idam vidnyatam bhavati and after uh, talking about uh, apara vidya para vidya and with various uh, examples and metaphors the brahma vidya is taught and uh, is also concluded now very beautifully so all that has to be conveyed all that has to be taught is taught now in the following mantras the upanishad gives some uh, do's and don'ts about this knowledge who is uh, who is fit who is adhikari to gain this knowledge with whom we should share this wisdom and with whom we should not share that vidya pradhana vidhi is indicated now in the following mantra so let us chant mantra number 10 kriyavanta shrotriya brahmanishtha svayam juvata ekarshi shraddhayanta tesham evaisham brahma vidyam vadeta शिरोव्रतम विधिवीर्ण यस्तु चीर्ण क्रियावंत श्रोत्रिया ब्रह्मनिष्ठा स्वयं जुह्वत एकर्षी श्रद्धयतेषा ब्रह्म विद्या वदेत शिरोव्रत विधिवीर्ण शंकराचार्य जी से यथ इदं ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदान विधि उप प्रदर्शन उपसंहार क्रीयते सो नाउ द टीचर द श्रुति कन्वेस् द ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदान विधि हाउ दिस् ब्रह्म विद्या शुड बी कन्वेड टू हूम हु आर द अधिकारी फॉर दिस् विजम एंड ऑल दिस् is conveyed now
सो इस इज कि क्रियावंत वन हु इज क्रियावान वन हु हैज परफॉर्म ऑल वन हु परफॉर्म्स ऑल कर्म प्रॉपरली वन हु फॉलोज द पाथ ऑफ धर्म एंड परफॉर्म्स ऑल कर्म नेसेसरी श्रोत्रिया वन हु हैज लिसन टू द शास्त्रस वन हु is uh, dedicated to the shastras have faith in the scriptures brahmanishtha one who is uh, well dedicated properly dedicated to the scriptures and and uh, also um, uh, performs whatever actions uh, advocated by the scriptures स्वयं जुव्वत एकर्षी श्रद्धयंत एंड वन हु हैज ऑल्सो परफॉर्म द स्पेशल कर्म ऑफ एकर्षी विथ श्रद्धा डिटेल्स वी विल सी फर्दर तेषाम एव एषाम ब्रह्म विद्याम वदेत टू दैम ओनली दिस ब्रह्म विद्या शुड बी कन्वेड वन शुड शेयर this great wisdom with people who are fit who are adhikari shirovratam vidivad yastu chirnam one who has also done shirovrat holding fire on the head one takes sanyas so one who has taken sanyas to them this knowledge has to be imparted that is the literal uh, meaning now let us uh, read shankara charya's uh, bhashya and try to understand this mantra shankara charya says ki tad etad vidya sampradana vidhanam richa mantrena abhyuktam abhi prakashitam so this uh, vidhi of uh, imparting this uh, knowledge to the right uh, person is also conveyed in the mantra which follows uh, which is quoted from the from the rigvedas so this vidhi is there that one should uh, give this knowledge to the right person and should not impart this to a wrong person to one who is not uh, fit hmm so who are those people who are fit for this knowledge so he says kriyavantah means yathokta karma anushthana yuktah one who performs the karma as indicated to him by the shastras see we cannot gain this knowledge just just uh, just like that we have to strive we have to work towards it and the first step is to follow the path of karma just by renouncing karma we cannot gain that supreme enlightenment in bhagavad gita also bhagwan tells arjuna again and again that just by renouncing karma you cannot gain that uh, siddhi hmm? na karmana manarambhat naishkarmyam purushoshnute na cha sanyasana deva siddhim samadhi gachhati that by not performing karma or giving up all karma you cannot gain that naishkarmy siddhi you have to perform karma karmanne vadikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana your your right is only in karma so perform follow the path of karma and that is very important for all of us we should uh, do fulfill all our duties properly and perform those karmas as given in the shastras because through karma only we can purify our antakkarana then shrotriya shrotriya brahmanishtha shrotriya brahmanishtha apara asmin brahmani abhiyuktaha 
Shankaracharya right that one should also do some upasana of apara brahma of that hiranyagarbha of vaishvanara which are also given in our shastras to further purify our antakkarana hmm? para brahma bhutsavah one who has got the desire to know that supreme brahma should also do some upasana of that apara brahma means hiranyagarbha upasana vaishvanara upasana or regularly we should do puja japa uh, tapa and prepare ourselves puja is very important we have to worship ishvara in some form or other we can do panchayatana puja worship that ishvara in the form of brahma vishnu mahesh ganesh and shakti regular puja it definitely helps in gaining that brahma vidya and swayam ekarshi nama uh, ekarshi namanam agnim juvate and there is this uh, special uh, vrata which is mentioned in our shastra called ekarshi agni that is uh, to be performed later on as our antakarana becomes more and more pure we have to then move towards becoming more and more uh, detached from this world and uh, perform those special ritual which make us more and more detached hmm. so that ritual is called that ekarshi ekarshi so with shraddha with faith one should do that ritual means try to gain vairagya from all all the objects of this world as well as the other world so shraddha dana santo ye esham eva sanskrutatmanam patra bhutanam etam brahma vidyam vadeta so in this way through karma through upasana and by gaining vairagya one who has become fit whose antakarana has become extremely shuddha to such seekers this brahma vidya should be taught brahma should, vidya should be imparted to them because they alone become proper patra proper recipient of this knowledge otherwise it is just a wasted effort only so patra bhutanam etam brahma vidyam vadeta bruyat shiro vratam shirasya shirasi agni dharana lakshanam also those who have done the shiro vratam is sanyas one who has renounced all other karma and totally dedicated only to gain self knowledge to such disciples this knowledge should be given Huh? means one who is totally fit when this knowledge is given they will benefit from it otherwise we will not benefit if we are not interested in, uh, in properly tuned and that tuning happens through karma upasana and acquiring so kriya vanta shrotriya brahmanishtha swayam jovata ekarshi shraddayantah tesham eva esham brahma vidyam vadita shiro vratam vidivat yastu chirnam one more shloka is there one more mantra is there the last mantra
some problem with the Wi-Fi. Okay, the last mantra we will do in our next session. We will conclude the Upanishad in our next session. We will just summarize all the what we have studied in this Upanishad and we will conclude in our class on Thursday. Okay. So now we will conclude today's class. So we will meet again tomorrow for uh, Sundar Khan session. So till then you take care, be happy, safe, peaceful, healthy, do your work, do your sadhana.